Have you ever wondered how stargates work? In the ancient Anunnaki stories, it is very well explained. And to my fascination, when I was watching Stargate, the TV series, I noticed that there was so much disclosure in it. Insane. In 1928, the first Stargate was found in Giza, Egypt, built millennia ago by an extraterrestrial race, commonly known as the Anunnaki, or the Ancients. Anunnaki is a blanket term from those who from the heavens came down to Earth. So this means all extraterrestrial, not just one race, but all of the races. You can call them that, which makes me believe that the TV series was actually based on real things. So the Stargate has 39 symbols to represent the constellations. And it's capable of transporting people and objects thousands of light years. Once the Stargate is activated, it creates an interstellar wormhole. An unstable energy vortex emerges from the gate and settles in what is called the event horizon or what you may have seen on the TV series as them referring to as the puddle. Our Milky Way galaxy uses seven symbol addresses. Let me show you how it works. So the first six symbols lock down a point in space, while the seventh symbol is the point of origin. Later it was discovered that using an eighth symbol dials out of our galaxy. Unfortunately, an immense source of power of energy is needed to reach the ninth chevron destination so an ancient database like the anunnaki scriptures lost book of enki lost book of enoch the anunnaki chronicles anunnaki genesis coincide with the information that stargate the tv series gives us coincidence coincidence does not exist